Hello everyone, welcome back to another Foxtech Devices video. In this one we have an unboxing in front of us and it's a quite an interesting one. You can see it is the Galaxy Fold 4. And as you can tell, it is fully packed, so let's just get started with this. Of course, the interesting thing is that we still have the plastic wrapping around it. Of course, uh, as I unwrap it, I'm going to talk about this device itself. So it is obviously the Samsung Galaxy Fold. It's in the black color with 256 gigabytes specification or capacity. It is not actually the Galaxy Fold 5. It's not the latest and greatest model. And I'm going to tell you why in just a second. So this is the packaging without the plastic and uh, as I unpack it, I should be able to see a bunch of different things, but as you can see, the box is very thin, so I don't expect to get there any uh, plug-in charger or any uh, the wall adapter. Also I need to uh, cut the seal, so this is how it works. I usually just unpack the uh, Apple devices, so I'm not really used to doing that i don't really have many android devices here on the channel which is probably going to change in the future because i plan on unboxing more so we're going to go like this and the, the device itself is right here presented to us i'm going to pick it up like this and set it aside for a moment to see what else we have inside of the box now looks like there isn't much under in here but what we can find is some papers inside of the other section so you can pick it up like this and take it out completely so i can take or put the box aside so in the paperwork you can see we have the hole where the cameras were so it goes like this you can open up the packaging for the paperwork and all we can find here is a nice usb-c to usb-c cable which looks really nice of course and we also have some papers random stuff you know some more papers inside of course i would expect some apple stickers but obviously this is not an iphone so yeah we just have the cable and as i said no wall adapter so yeah that's really expected i would say now we can finally bring this device over and as i unwrap it from the foil i can start to explain to you why i don't believe that you should actually go ahead and purchase the galaxy fold 5 and you should instead go with the Fold 4, as you can see right here. This is the fourth generation, not the fifth one. And the price difference is huge. It's like $500. And the changes and the differences in the Fold 5 aren't really that good. Like, it's not really that revolutionary. You're not getting that much if you switch from 4 to 5. So in case you're buying this device brand new or as your first folding device, I believe you should go with the Fold 4 instead of 5. This is my personal observation. So let me just unwrap it like this. Really nice experience. You can see the crease is definitely there, but this is what is present in basically uh, the Fold 5 as well. So that's, that's how it works. One of the differences which I noticed or which I uh, knew that are like improved in the fifth generation is when you close the phone like this, you can see there is the gap in between. I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but uh, it doesn't fold flat entirely. So that's something to keep in mind when deciding between the fourth and fifth generation. The fifth one has like a new hinge, so it just snaps completely. So it's just like really nicer to, to look at. It's a tiny bit flatter. So that's uh, a thing as well, but I don't believe it's that important. The only downside is that theoretically some dirt could get inside it. When you close it, you can see there's still gap. So yeah, some dirt could get technically inside, but I don't believe that it's such a huge problem. So let me power this device on like this. I'm not even sure if the device is charged out of the box, but yeah, apparently it is. So Galaxy powered by Android, you can see that the loading screen is happening on each of the sides in the open as well as on the closed lid. So yeah, this is definitely my first experience with a folding device. I really like the concept, so I'm really excited to see if I'm actually going to enjoy it that much. 
if I'm gonna be using it as I as I really expected. I have no idea what this is. So I just click on the blue button, of course, obviously. So let me just choose the language like this. As you can tell, I don't really uh, use or um, like have many experiences with the uh, Samsung or Androids. I mostly have iPhones and I just use that. I'm happy with that. But uh, I just decided to try out uh, this device because I believe that um, the foldables are kind of cool to be honest this is one of the biggest reasons why i actually bought this so yeah i'm just showing this device to you i'm gonna definitely make some reviews or detailed videos about it i'm gonna show you some things that i like which i don't like about it uh how it stacks up after some months of using so definitely keep that in mind and also go ahead and subscribe if you are new to the channel on the other channel uh the fox tech tutorials i'll definitely include some tutorials on how to use it and some things you should know about like how to set up different things in terms of the fold so yeah we should uh, you should see that really soon so yeah i'm gonna wrap up this video right here this is just unboxing and setup of this device so yeah thanks a lot for watching i'm gonna just set it up the way i want for myself and we can see each other later on in the future peace out until then and see you guys later